Hello, Michael here with another RenderMan tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at exporting Match ID passes into Nuke and uh, just some simple ways that you might hook them up in Nuke. So you can see I've got a scene here already ready to render, um, but I want to assign a Mat ID to our robot here. So the simplest way to do this is to select your object and go to its material. So I'll just grab the Hypershade editor here and you'll see that I've got my robots material already, already mapped out. So with that material selected, if I jump back into the attribute editor here on the right and go up to attributes, render man and manage attributes, I'm just gonna scroll down until I get to mat ID and we're gonna use mat ID zero. So you can have multiple mat IDs in a scene. I'm just gonna be working with one for this tutorial though. So click add and they will add it as an attribute. So if I scroll down now, you'll see it under render man Mat ID zero and it's color. So you need to define a color. Uh, we're gonna be working in Nuke and Nuke I think only works with red, green and blue. Um, and that's uh, red at 360, green at 120 and blue at 240. So let's work with red. Um, now this is still not complete. We'll need to jump back into the Hypershade editor again and we need to drop in a Pixar Mat ID node. So we do that um, by searching it. So we'll just jump up here, PXR MAT, and you'll get Mat ID. And they'll drop on into the viewport. Um, select your material node. I'm just gonna tap three on the keyboard to expand it out. And then type in utility, and you'll see that it's got utility pattern there. I'll need to expand that out, and um, utility pattern zero is what we're gonna be using. So, if I expand Pixar Mat ID by pressing three on the keyboard again and uh, moving result AOV into utility pattern zero, this Mat ID is now connected. So now we can set up a Mat ID render pass. So I'm going to go to render man and I'm going to go to advanced render man controls. Then I'm gonna to go to final and outputs. And by default, you'll have your standard RGBA, um, I've got Z in it. Um, and we want to create a separate output for mat IDs. So we'll go to channel outputs and then we'll go to mat and mat ID zero is the one that we created. So we're going to right click on that and create output from channel and it's ready to go. So now we just need to go to render man and because it's a, um, it's a pass, it can only be rendered and uh, batch rendering. Uh, you might be able to view this one in IPR. I can't remember. Let's have a look. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got my beauty pass there um, and it's also got the mat ID there and that should be the alpha, which is not view viewable in sRGB space. So that's fine. So what we're gonna do now is go to render man and click batch render. I'm gonna pause the recording and be back in a moment. All right, so that render is now finished. Let's jump into Windows Explorer just briefly to show you where that rendered out to. So under your project, under render man will be where it's rendered out to, depending on what your scene file is named. I just order it by date modified. And then the most recent one is where uh, the one that it will have rendered. So it's under images and you'll see that I've got both the variants and the filtered version of the Mat ID. This can be useful if you're combining it with a uh, filtered pass or a denoise pass like I'm going to. So I'm just gonna jump into Nuke now. And I'm gonna drag my beauty pass in and the Mat ID filtered pass in. Okay, let's create a shuffle node by pressing tab and then typing in shuffle and then piping that into the viewer. So you'll see that's our beauty pass. And let's also create a grade node. Once again, tab and type in grade. Um, I want that connected to the output of the shuffle. And on the right here, you'll see a little arrow. We're gonna connect that to our mat ID. This is the mask. So um, we'll get an error because we haven't set the mask channel correctly. So on the right here for your grade node, go to mask and then go to mat ID red, because we had that in the red channel. And you'll see that nothing's changed. Um, but once we say, for instance, increase the gamma, you'll see that the gamma is only increasing on the robot because it's using that mat ID that we created in render man. So this is really useful um, for all sorts of effects. If you wanna do some color work in post, you could also do a hue correct. Once again, the same, um, way of outputting that mask to your mat ID 
and then again you have to set it to the mat id 0 dot red and then you know you could change the uh, saturation or you know green channel so i want less green or more red or whatever you know what you're doing if you know more about nuke than me which is probably most people uh, but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it so now you've got your mat ids running in nuke and you should be able to do everything that your heart ever desired with a mat id pass uh, hopefully though if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comments below i'll, I'll have a look um like I've said in previous tutorials, I'm no expert in Nuke, so if you are an expert in Nuke and you're watching this wondering what I'm doing, that is the reason. Otherwise, if you liked this tutorial, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed for all sorts of tutorials coming out every week, a couple at least, for things like Nuke now and uh, Renderman and other CG products. If you want to stay up to date, make sure you've also liked the Facebook page, uh, link in the description. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.